But in the last few decades, there are nearly a million cases annually of dengue. And they vary between strains one, two, three, and four. There might be some immunity to one, then two pops up, a little bit like the flu has a, a cyclical pattern. In, in dengue's case, there are only four. So this little guy here, that's Zika. Physically, um, and, and I don't know what else, epi epitopically, you know, the way it appears um, to the antibodies, um, they're pretty similar. And so there's a lot of crossover uh, reaction between Zika and dengue. Um, on either end, for, as far as identifying one from the other, and as far as your body having an immunity to one crosses over to immunity to the other. It seems strange to me that dengue, which causes, say, a million cases annually in Brazil, and it's carried by the exact same mosquito as the Aedes aegypti, and the, the key word there is the second one, aegypti, Egypt. So the mosquito is well from Africa. Uh, Zika is named after the Zika forest in Uganda, which I thought was a deep, dark forest.